And I'm back with more East 8. We have rescued Kathleen, and she can forge armor and weapons for us, which is huge. So let's do some side quest stuff while I'm here. Just a couple of things. I can't finish up everything, but there's some I can do. Oh, thank you very much. I'll get right to it. It was a little harder than I expected, but I somehow managed to finish. Please, take this. Yeah. What? What? Really? Oh, I'm a little embarrassed now. I bet I, my husband could have finished it without any trouble at all. Still, I'm glad I was able to finish it all by myself. I can't pick up a weapon and fight like your, you and the others, but I still want to help everyone in the village. My tailoring is nowhere near my husband's, but I don't want to give up. I want to do everything I can. So if you do need anything tailored, please come to me. <laughs> we did it! Yay! More accessories. Hooray! Speaking of accessories, now we have this. And this is, um, extra, extra skills. Okay, so extra gauge. All right. Which is handy. Welcome. Hmm. So this resists all those. We've got skill gain. Red cape is nice. There's SP gain, damage increases, that's huge. We got gold cape again, crit rate, evade rate, ooh boy. Hmm. Hmm. So what's the defense on this? Yeah, as stated, you usually don't want to give have Allison make you stuff. You want to have Kathleen do it, but she's mostly the accessory lady. And let's see if I'd say red cape is good. This is a rare product. So let's give that to Sahad because he has more HP. There's SP gain, which is handy, but. Um, Okay, so dancer shawl. So evade rate goes up. It makes sense because she's a she's a fencer lady with a rapier. Evasion is kind of the style. Um, so that's kind of the idea. Evasive sword fighting is kind of that trope with fencing and rapiers anyway so european style fencing that's pretty much all you're doing is waiting for an opening to strike and then do damage okay so he needs to take a resin and i also need to kill the yuppers but i will wait on that more importantly what i'm gonna do Let's go over here. Because that's the story destination. Interesting. So that is where they want me to go. Interesting. So they're onto the same idea I had. Huh? At all? A moment, please. Oh. I was just about to post this on the bulletin board. But given its importance, it's best to talk to you in person. Thanks to your efforts, the search for castaways has gone very well. But the village is at risk of being raided by beasts, so we can't let our guards down. I'd like you to help us fortify the village defenses. Once again, I'm sorry to ask you for so much. We should start by building structures to protect ourselves from the beasts. So this is what I was worried about before. 
I was thinking about building a watchtower. Do you think we... Do you think that would help the villagers, fe villagers feel safer? Yes, thank you. We need to fortify our defenses as well, but at the moment, this is a top priority. We need to muster sturdy enough materials to use. Little Pero has told us of some promising areas that those can be found. A vast canyon to the north of the Nameless Coast. There you should find some high-quality material wood that should be gathered. That's a serious undertaking for you to do by yourselves. We need to determine just how viable these materials are. I would help you chop down a tree and drag it here. Back for nothing. I would hate for you to do that. First, we need to thoroughly scout the area. Thus, I'd like you to be that someone. Thank you. This will help considerably. Please report to me when you've located the materials. Be careful. Watchtower construction, yas. Required. So, no time. Okay. So, explore the Great Valley. Cool. It's what we had to do. But that's what I was thinking of doing anyway. It's good to know that I'm on top of where the game wants me to go. Because sometimes you're allowed to kind of go in different areas wherever you want to go. Sometimes you're pigeonholed. But look at that. Ooh, boy. So, Great Valley, huh? Well, let's take the camp. And then just walk back. Yeah! My turn now! Yay! Okay, so this should be the name of the coast. down, right? Oh, something is there. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Your turn, ah, crap. Ow! You're gonna poison me, Layla. Eventually. Look. All right, so required eight people. We have nine. Let's do it. <sighs> Old path is buried under a landslide. Well, let's get to work. I'll need everyone's help to clear this. Someone fetch me some wine and make it ice cold. Sir Carlin? Oh, dear. Don't tell me we walked all this way just to clear a landslide. That's exactly right. We all want to chip in and get rid of it. <laughs> Spare me, you silly talk. Why should I partake in such a meaningless gesture? We should be preparing a ship, not wasting our time like this. This is not meaningless. There could be other survivors who need our help. Yes, my husband's somewhere on the island. That's right, Sir Caron. We need to focus on saving them. Yeah, leave no stone unturned. I'm going to help, too. Insolent fools! How dare you pr <laughs> presume to give me orders! <laughs> and then you look at me with your loathsome faces. I understand your irritation, but searching is the highest priority. <laughs> That's nonsense! Your priorities are completely askew! As long as there are people in need of saving, we need to help them. That's just common sense. But if you're in a hurry to leave, why don't you build a ship yourself? I tire of this loathsome, worrisome talk. Do as you like. Yep. 
He ditched us. Guess we can't rely on him to help. Perhaps I'll pull him aside for a private chat. But for now, this landslide is our main focus. I'll need everyone's help for this task. I'm happy to help. So yeah, you did need to get through to Kathleen and get this done. I appreciate your cooperation. Yay! On guard. The Great River Valley. Alright, more new places to go. We are making the progress. Sounds like a dot hack song, actually. Environments changing on us. Yeah. The forest is getting denser. The island seems rich with vegetation. This area is filled with new varieties of beasts. Be on guard. All you little lady. Huh? Oh man. Hmm. Ah, oh god. Uh. Okay, a master fish. Finding treasure. Okay, well. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Could you have done that when I wasn't fighting the guy? Right there. Yeah. Yeah. This is so yeah. Done yeah. Yeah. yeah, could you have done that when I wasn't fighting a dude? Anyway. A good place to fish. Leave it to me. Let's do it. Oh boy. You're I seriously gonna I fish him? Big one. I hope I catch a big one. I hope I catch a big one. Come on. I hope I catch a big one. There we go. Oh, this is gonna suck so bad. Alright. Uh fucking <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Well, it was at least worth it. Tectite ore and white meat and a big pearl. Oh, man. I hope I catch a big one. I hope I catch a big one. Oh god, that's so much easier. <laughs> nice. A prismatic jewel. Switch. And bait is gone. Well, fuck. Allow me. I did my fun. But yeah, that, uh, it's way harder of a fishing minigame than Final Fantasy, or, uh, it, it's involved, but it is a lot of button mashing, and it hurts. It hurts. It definitely hurts, so be aware of that if you do play this. It's no joke. Okay, uh... Wait, uh, do I want to go there? That takes me over here. That's weird. I mean, I guess. I guess this isn't so bad. But... There's something there. Oh. Um. Uh oh. Oh no. It's oh these things. Oh god no. 
Uh, uh, level 23. I'm not I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm going. Ow! Stop it! Ah, crap. Okay, so that takes me all the way back around it. Oh, That's fun. There. No thanks. Okay. Level 23. I know what not to do. So that takes me over here. Oh, so that's where I double jump. Okay, cool. Well, I'm not... I'm, I'm going back. I am not fighting those yupper dudes. So let's just go back. Yeah, let's just... Let's, let's just go back. I am level... I am not level 23. I know that much. I'm level 15. No, thank you. Much better. <laughs> Much better. I can fight these things, no problem. And there was a long-term uh, buffer set on that, so I don't need a... It's not really a time limit. Oh, no. The fog's rolling in. I can't see what's up ahead. Do you think it's safe to continue on? You just gotta be careful is all. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I ain't going in that fog right now. I think I know what's there, and I don't want to know. Oh, God. Oh, God, I see it. I see it. I'm not I'm not getting involved with that. No. There's something there. <laughs> Treasure. Oh, there's something there. He's still fucking chasing us. God damn it. Fucking go, he's gonna keep going after me. <laughs> is he still is he still coming after me? Do I wanna know? But yeah, that thing is level forty. So if you thought me running away from the yuppers made sense. I will run away from those things all day. But the worst part about it is it's not just that, it's the fact that... It's not just that it's level 40, it's that it's actually even harder than that, because it's uh, very similar to the enemy we fought before, the Evo Dragal. Ooh! Ooh, stop. Where do I need you? Okay, still. Okay, if I go around. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Just don't go in the fog. Just don't go in the fog. Just don't go in the fog. I got it. <laughs> I think it stopped chasing us. Well, I thought we were done for. The beast looked like the one that was chasing me when I found you guys. Is it bigger and even madder? As far as I'm concerned, you and this island are both mad. <laughs> got me there. Oh, no! I don't think we can finish it off. Oh, come on! 
It's not the quality of her weapons. I just think we should avoid fighting for now. It might be best to look for a way to get past it. We're going to need to be careful going through that fog. And he's dead. I love how he tries to hit me from that far away. Is like, really? Like, how are you supposed to hit me from there? You're not dead yet. stuff here actually it's very big goodbye but yeah those are um those dinosaurs you don't fight them okay you just don't take my word for it even late into the game they are not to be trifled with and this is the beginning of the game let the map, um, let the map coverage be a guide of how long this game is. And even then, there's still way more to be done with it. So the fact that we're fairly early says, ah! Ew. What's this? Looks like washed up debris. Must be from the ship. Might as well take some of it. You might be right. Okay. Hooray! A mango. I don't have any bait for the fish over here. But yeah, a couple of things we can't fight yet. The yuppers and then that fucking dragon thing. Which, I, as I said, is probably level 40. So I am not touching it. Not with a 10-foot pole, not with a 20-foot pole, not with any pole. Not until I know I can beat it. Either high enough level, I have enough items to compensate, or they'll fuck it, even with that. Might as well clear the map. Just so I can say I've done it. Let's go. Cause they give you a lot of places to go. God. Allow me. Here we go. Meh. All right. Nice. Knew it was worth it. Yeah, any area that's kind of grayish or unknown is a spot I haven't been to. So I'm trying to clear what I can't work. Oh, he's hidden under the... I don't need to fight you. You're all the way over there. Okay, another, another exit. Okay. Still things I can do, though. Another couple exits, actually. Oh, man. <laughs> huh? Look. Over there. Huh. 
It's a dude. I remember him. Would appear to be another castaway. Let's go. Excuse me. Hmm. Hello. Um. Just ignored me when I tried to speak to him. How yeah, rude. Well, some people are like that. So you're gonna keep talking to now see here. Were you a passenger aboard the Lombardia? We were passengers too, and now we're stranded on this deserted island. Not my problem. <laughs> huh? Hey. Uh we can just leave him. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really now? You can at least tell us your name. Uh. Come on. I'm a transporter. Okay. So that's a that's a dude. Such a vexing man. <laughs> At least he doesn't beat around the bush. I don't know about that. I very much doubt he's interested in anything we have to say. Well, we're heading the same way. I'm sure we'll run into him again. <laughs> Transporter, huh? What an odd kid. You don't get to call others odd. <laughs> At any rate, the sun has begun to set. We should look for a place to make camp. Makes sense. Okay, find a place to make camp. Oh. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't have a choice in the matter. If I want to go back that way, I gotta go back that way later. Fair enough. Hey, that'll work. This area is free of beast, Mr. Kristen. I guess we should set up camp, don't you think? All right. I don't know why, but staring into a bonfire always seems to calm me down. This island gives me the willies. And makes my willy want to curl up and hide. Ew. When I stare at this fire, I feel relaxed. More than relaxed, actually. Yeah. I agree. Mankind and fire have a shared history with one another. Fire can bring disaster and ruin, but it can also bring light, warmth, and comfort. Perhaps those memories have been etched into the souls of all humanity. Oh. Interesting. Can you believe the audacity of that man we encountered earlier? I tried to speak to him, and he just flat out ignored me. Said his name was Hummel. I don't know. I don't think he was being rude. Maybe he had somewhere to be. Somewhere to be? We're stranded on a deserted island. Where could he possibly need to be? Yeah, well, there's all sorts of folks here. Like that stuffed shirt, Carlin. Really, the only thing we all got in common is we were on the Lombardia when it sank. Everyone's different, you know? I know we're all different. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get some sleep. We got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> the maiden has safely arrived at the new at the royal capital. I see. Where is Dana? I hope she's not causing trouble while the maiden is away. Dana has been cloistered away, meditating on the maiden's direct orders. I see. Then I suppose there's no cause for alarm. The child is growing into a beautiful woman, and yet she still is causing problems. 
I know the other candidates are working hard, but I think Olga will be chosen as the next maiden. I can feel it. An endless expanse of blue sky. Sunlight clashing and shining down on the land. A soothing vision. Hmm? The animals are... The sky... The forest... Turning bright red. Is this... A scarlet vision? Oh, that's no good. <laughs> I slept like a log! No. I probably should have said this last night, but you shouldn't yawn in front of people. Nobles don't like that. No one does that! It's just common sense. At least that's what I think. Don't you agree? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> exactly. I think you two are starting to wear away my common sense. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like the little ladies sounds pretty tough. Yeah. Shut up, parrot. <laughs> it's done. Yeah, he found. Yeah, he found. So I shall say. And we'll get to another episode. But we are starting to get even more visions of Dana and Olga and Sarai. So something's definitely happening. And we'll find out more as we keep searching. See you guys next time.